Hey everyone, welcome back to mainland Grenada where we get up to a lot of sailing, diving, and never ending boat projects. But I also wanted to get more real with you and share what I've been going through in this season of my life. So enjoy the rest of the video guys. Thanks for coming along on this journey. All right, so we have just picked up another mooring ball at an anchorage a little bit north of where we were just anchored. It's beautiful here, it's so different. It's jungly, it's really green, very secluded, no one else is here, and I will fill you in on what we've been up to the last few days, but I'm excited to go snorkeling and see what's under the water. We're going on a dive, and you're going in this case. I've talked about this a lot in some of my previous videos, but diving is really therapeutic for me. It just really calms me down and lets me focus when it's hard to focus in life. So I'm really thankful for that, but I also was thoroughly impressed by what I was seeing under the water. The coral was actually pretty healthy and there were lots of beautiful colors, which I haven't seen in Grenada. Everything's been dead and really hurricane affected, which has made me really sad. But I felt like I finally found this little hidden gem because the coral was actually beautiful. This is one of the women on our boat and I got to take her snorkeling and kind of show her the underwater world. She's not very familiar with snorkeling, so it was cool getting to show her my love for it. might not know is when you dive you have to equalize your ears because of the pressure that builds up as you go deeper down into the water and you can do this by plugging your nose while blowing out your ears or what I like to do is a little motion with my tongue which equalizes my ears without me having to plug my nose it's hard to explain but after a while you get the hang of it So I saw a bunch of needlefish, and then we went to Grenada's Sculpture Park nearby, which basically they just put down a ton of sculptures that represent Grenada's history. This one is my favorite, and it's called The Vicitudes. Some say it represents the circle of life, while others say that the children represent slaves thrown off ships many years ago. There is a trend of thought that suggests it may even relate to the lives of these slaves being cut off, but it will remain a mystery. Right now my dad is teaching one of the ladies how to put up the main while we're on anchor. When the boat is on anchor, the boat is dead center into where the wind is coming, so it's nice to put up the main sometimes before you head out and sail, just for quickness and more ease of mind. I will show you that. Okay, hey guys, we are here with Maddie from Florida. She's 58 years old, solo girl, and she just wanted to come out and learn how to sail and try something completely new. So here we are. And we love that. Pretty awesome. Yeah, we do too. We're gonna do four wraps. So that we had one for when you were just pulling, right? Right. Now we're gonna do two. Nicely done. Three. And on that fourth one, we it's called tailing it off. And okay. then it locks into here. And then I pull it, watch what happens. So that locks it in. Okay. And that is now secure. Totally secure. Okay, so now Because I don't want my mainsail flopping around until we're ready. until we're ready to sail. Got the head sail and the main, and we're sailing. sound of 
sailing is so amazing. Like, it honestly makes me emotional sometimes just because it's magical. I can't even explain it. So I'm gonna start taking some pictures. I have a Sony a6700 and I've been really enjoying taking photos. My dream camera is a Fujifilm 100V. It has this film quality to it without actually being a film camera, it's digital and so. Anyways, that's what I would like to save up for and get because it's super small, you can take it anywhere. It'd be great for hiking and backpacking and big adventures like that. Right now I'm just using my camera that I film on so if you'd like to see any of them I post a lot on my Instagram so if you'd like to check that out. We just had the best sail ever. It lasted about an hour because we were just going a short distance to an anchorage. Beautiful day to be out at sea. dad and I are just making the bridle go through the anchor chain area so that we can anchor because you have to route it differently depending on if you're picking up a mooring ball or if you're dropping the anchor. Fun fact. Good morning. This is me in the morning. My hair that I haven't washed in far too long. Oh, there's some blonde pieces in there. First things first, get some pants on. Because unfortunately, pants are needed in today's society. this morning that I'm proud of so um, cheers to that because coffee makes my life better and happy <laughs> I don't know it just it really just starts my day off and gets me going I don't really need it I just more like the taste of it and also it gives me a little pep in my step you know cheers another day in paradise something that always helps me when I'm starting out my days are kind of thinking about things that make me grateful and then I kind of just feel like that sets a really good intention for the rest of the day. So I'm going to share three things that I'm grateful for this morning. Go ahead and join me in this if you'd like to write any down or think of something you're grateful for. I'm grateful for such a beautiful day. Every day in the Caribbean has been really good weather. I'm also really grateful for such a peaceful trip this has been. Being on the boat, very slow paced life, not busy, away from distractions and people and loudness. It's just very peaceful and that is hard for me because I'm such a busy person and I like to be moving constantly, but being on the boat really makes me like slow down. Yeah, it's just almost like a reset button. And then I'm also grateful that I get to be spending this time with my dad. So it's just us on the boat right now. My family isn't here yet and I've never done that before and it's hard and I really miss my family and it's definitely a different dynamic without them, which I'm grateful also to get to see that I miss my family on the boat because a lot of times six people on one 45 foot sailboat is a lot. But I'm grateful for this time with my dad because it's given us a time to kind of like reconnect after I've been away for so long and just become friends, you know? So. Would you say that you dress very colorful or what's the vibe here? The vibe is whatever shirt is clean because I sweat <laughs> through these so quickly. You look like an elementary school kid who like his mom didn't help him. You know what? I don't care because I'm out here and nobody's out here and I don't care. So. I, I like that as well. <laughs> Maddie, what are you making? Well, I'm making regular French toast and then I made some French toast breakfast sandwiches with savory ham, caramelized onion, shredded cheddar cheese, oh. and avocado. You're incredible. And then we'll top that with a little wow. maple syrup. So everybody can have like a half of this and then regular French toast. Wow. Dad's been wiring the underwater lights today. Um, big project because you have to take a wire from this engine room all the way down here. To sweating my balls that one. 
He's been sweating his balls off. I sweat mine off for like maybe 10 balls. minutes. Yeah, I don't have balls, but in theory, I sweat mine off for 10 minutes and he's been doing it for it's like seven really hours. Them, you don't know what it's like. I don't know how he does it. Like I was like super just not, do what you gotta I do was it, mad, you know? I was sweating. I, when you feel the sweat dripping down your back and your whole body, it just doesn't make you feel very good. And so do I don't know how you're doing this. It's the only way you get crap done. You just gotta do it, bro. They don't tell you about this stuff. For real, bro. Yeah, half the time you're just fixing crap. So I'm going paddle boarding. I never really film when I'm having hard slash bad days. I don't know why I would tell anyone because I'm living on boat. I'm paddle boarding in the middle of the ocean. Everybody has bad days and especially days where I feel very isolated on a boat. I got a question the other day, has traveling changed you? And I, I said, of course, of course it does. But something I didn't <clears throat> tell you guys was that the past three or four years, just constantly traveling, going to new places, it's like all these highs, right? It's super big highs, big adventures, super fun. Like seriously, every day it's, my life was crazy. And I mean, it still is, but just thinking back on all the moments sailing to new countries like every single week was insane and it became so normal and something that i'm kind of struggling with now i turned 19 a couple months ago and whoa i'm entering into this like adulthood where i'm kind of leaving my family and starting to do things on my own i'm having to pay for everything on my own now and i went through the season of kind of like post traveling depression not completely like depression i don't take that lightly at all and I'm not like diagnosing anything but I went through this phase of like being so sad and not knowing what I'm doing with my life that's just been a little interesting for me lately and I've been feeling kind of lost and not really knowing what's next for me and part of me is like really just wanting to please everyone stay on the boat live with your family keep sailing that kind of doesn't feel right for me anymore don't unsubscribe because I'm gonna keep adventuring and I'm gonna keep going back to the boat and doing cool things but I don't really know what's next so thank you for the people that have followed me along just taking it day by day baby we're also conditioned to chase these big, grandiose dreams and milestones, thinking that each one will somehow unlock a new level of happiness or success. But it's not always the grand adventures that shape us. A lot of times it's the small, everyday moments I find myself remembering. The gentle, peaceful, and quiet joys of life.